Solve with this internet shit. Scramble TV. Hi, this is Brittany Lynn for the latest Hollywood gossip and why the Jews run Hollywood. Tonight on Celebrity Shit Show. Celebrity Shit Show. Police arrived at Ashton Kutcher's house ready to defend the actor from a home invasion, only to find that the call was another false alarm. But this time, the celebrity swatters were not the ones to blame. Law enforcement sources say police rushed to Ashton's home in Los Angeles around 5.30 a.m. after a friend of Ashton's, who was staying at the house, heard a scary noise and pressed a panic alarm on the security system, thinking it to be an intruder. Ashton wasn't even home. Ashton's friend, who was definitely straight and not gay, said, Oh my god, I heard a scary noise. Police searched the property but found nothing. This isn't the first time police have walked away from Ashton's home empty-handed. Last year, the actor was swatted when an anonymous prankster told police there was a shootout in the home. Aww. Guys. Sorry. Ashton just likes guys in uniforms and friends stopping by his house. I'm not saying he's gay, former Abercrombie model. I'm just saying a lot of his friends are Scientologists. It turns out Lindsay Lohan isn't exactly drug-free at the Betty Ford Center. Now, uh, aren't, you supposed to, aren't you supposed to be in rehab now? Sources connected to Lindsay say Betty Ford is allowing her to take her beloved Adderall. The reason? She has a prescription, and she says she's been diagnosed with ADHD, which of course stands for always doing hard drugs. Lindsay has made it pretty clear over the last month that she would only go to rehab if she were allowed to continue using the drug. But sources say doctors are currently evaluating Lindsay's diagnosis to see if the drug is actually doing anything or if it's simply a placebo effect. In other words, if the drug isn't making a positive difference, they'll take it away from her. For those unaware, many people, including this show's host, often abuse Adderall. And for whatever reason, actresses especially. But even if the Adderall is taken away, Lindsay is still allowed to smoke at Betty Ford. Did you know you can crush up Adderall and smoke it? Lindsay does. A private jet carrying Chris Brown was forced to make an emergency landing in Burbank yesterday after the cockpit, <laughs> cockpit filled with smoke after takeoff. Chris reportedly boarded a Gulfstream 3 jet in Burbank and was headed for Tetterboro, New Jersey, so he can attend the Met Gala event. But about seven minutes into the flight, everyone on board reported that the entire plane began to fill with smoke. The pilot immediately turned the plane around and performed an emergency landing back at Burbank Airport. Reports say the passengers were scared, but the pilot kept a cool head and couldn't have handled the situation any better. I'm doing a service for my country and my planet. And if that means saving the people I love and I care about, and that's what I do. Many of the passengers, supposedly security guards and closeted gangsters, supposedly said, we don't know what happened, as they hurriedly threw away Philly Blunt wrappers and Fritos bags. But a little bit of smoke wasn't going to stop Chris, who boarded another plane less than an hour after he landing, hell-bent on attending the Met Gala that night. Unfortunately, Chris didn't make it back in time for the Met Gala event, but did make it just in time for the after party, which was sure is what he was really looking forward to, and the gay after party sex. Hope all the money he paid for that gala gown was worth it. It's the Celebrity Shit Show. Celebrity Shit Show. And finally, Charlie Sheen and Denise Richard have been to court where it looks like a judge will allow Denise to have temporary custody of Charlie and Brooke Mueller's twins, Bob and Max, while Brooke gets help in rehab. Maybe she can bring more Adderall for Lindsay. But the real question is, will child services and the judge be open to letting Brooke take the kids back when she's out? Keep in mind, rehab has become something of a home away from home to Brooke over the years. She has my old room. Charlie has stated that he supports Denise Richards looking after the kids, and it's just good to know that he realizes he has children. Wow, that sure was some hot gossip and celebrity shit. Tune in next week when I'm done masturbating. <laughs>